one of the most controversial propositions on California's ballot would impact the state prison system and some say public safety. CBS 13's Tony Lopez is getting answers about what Proposition 57 would do. Instead of prison doors shut, it'll be doors open for potentially thousands of California inmates considered nonviolent offenders. Proposition 57 would increase parole chances for felons convicted of nonviolent crimes and give them more opportunities to earn credits for good behavior. It would also allow judges, not prosecutors, to decide whether to try certain juveniles as adults in court. There's strong opposition from the law enforcement community, from police officers on the streets to DA's offices statewide, who take issue with the term nonviolent. It's honestly it's deceitful. It's not nonviolent. These are folks that anybody in the community would know are violent. It's not, it's not just their crime that they're in for prison for, but it's also the other crimes that they've been had in their past. The Yes on 57 side tells CBS 13 News incentivizing rehabilitation and educational milestones is a proven way to reduce recidivism and make our community safer. Nonpartisan experts help us boil down the debate. Prop 57 would also result in offenders spending more time in the community and so it is possible that it could increase crime. However, um, on the other hand, it's also possible that Prop 57 could increase the access that offenders have to rehabilitation programs which could offset some or all of those crimes. So who's pushing this prop? Governor Jerry Brown has been a strong proponent, along with the California Democratic Party and the chief probation officers of California. How might this early release proposition impact taxpayers? We think that it could create uh, tens of millions of dollars of savings for the state. Um, now, with respect to the counties, it's important to note that the juvenile portions of the measure would likely create uh, costs for the counties, probably in the few millions of dollars annually. As of the beginning of this year, 25,000 California inmates could be eligible for parole under this proposition. The Associated Press did a study recently that shows 7,000 would be eligible right away. And a reminder, you can find a simple explanation of all the propositions and find out who's pushing them on our website, cbs13.com.